Mr. Mfugin, good morning. Thank you very much uh, for your time. In my intro this morning, we started the show at 9 o'clock. I make the point that we need action every single day, and I'm wondering what progress is being made. We saw that raft of emergency measures announced by President Ramaphosa recently after women across the length and breadth of the country mm -hmm. took to the streets to protest against the GBV. Are you satisfied as a commission that enough action is now being taken to stop this sketch. Mm. Thank you very much for the invitation and I think you know from the get-go it's important to just let the viewers know you know what the Commission is and why it's important and we're basically mandated to promote protect gender equality and do everything in our power to develop and attain that in the South Africa and now we know that women and children cannot live in a thriving environment in the context and in the presence of the epidemic levels of gender-based violence in the country. And the problem is that by the time women marched in the streets, it tells you the frustration. And it has been a build-up over many, many years. Um, and interestingly, I've got two reports here, you know, painting over all cracks and ship without a captain, that analyzes um, that the work CGE did to analyze the responses of the Department of Justice, Department of Health, and Department of Social Development as old as 2015. So by the time the presidential emergency plan comes, you know, to be announced and it's budgeted for, um, the work has been carrying on. But I think what we saw in the country is really elevated levels and civil society just saying they've had enough. Um, and I think it, you know we do need to ask ourselves how do we support um, you know civil society and and secondly how do we as CGE monitor um, all the people in the plan you know that the president has announced our biggest role is to monitor that and ensure that the money that has been announced goes to the programs and the departments can account for it has any of that uh, plan started being implemented from what you know as a commission? So the interim steering committee, you know, is doing work on a weekly basis. They have some actions that, and activities that themselves, um, you know, are getting in terms of reports weekly from departments. But as a CGE, we also are part of uh, people who are doing oversight on the work around GBV across the country, public sector as well as private sector, um, and not limited only to the presidential plan. But we also look at uh, sexual harassment policies, for example, um, in the workplace. We are asking serious questions around um, you know, the private sector and the fact that people are talking about employing more women, but is the environment and the culture in those environments enabling of women to work you know, freely without violence? But yeah. yeah, I'm saying in my intro, for as long as we as men continue to abuse, rape and kill our women, we need these campaigns and we cannot stop but we need to be part of finding the solution and also in fact we need to lead from the forefront. How do you respond to that? I mean, firstly, I think men need to, 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 to not, um, you know, be so weak, I think, and be so emotional about the fact that we are confronting the issue of rapists and naming the issues as, as, as they are. Um, if you are not a rapist, don't, don't, then don't, don't feel bad about the hashtags. You know what I mean? Um, we, women are dealing with real life-threatening issues every day um, that, you know, sometimes we feel like, well, you know, if you're just threatened by a hashtag on the internet, imagine being a woman who has to navigate public spaces every single day, a woman who's unsafe in school, ch children who are unsafe in school, unsafe in the workplace, unsafe in our very homes, right? And in some instances, unsafe in the police station, in the health facilities. We know there are countless amounts of complaints um, that, are, that are, you know, throughout society, no matter where you are, class doesn't protect you, gender doesn't protect you, and race doesn't protect you. Now, Dr. Mufukeng, somebody at the time, at the height of the, when we saw the murder recently of Uyine and Mkwechan and of course the march, somebody was saying the whole issue of gender equality and respect for women starts in the home, that we need to teach our boys to respect girls right from the get-go as they're growing up at home. Before you even get to a commission of gender equality where you're oversighting and stuff like that, we need to get our basics right. That's the truth. I mean, the only way we'll really get over this is through prevention programs. And prevention programs very much talk about parenting. It talks about the content of parenting. The punitive nature in which people uh, look at disciplining children is very, very problematic. The gendered way in which we raise children is also very problematic. From the get-go, we set the context for girls and boy children that says to them already by having by being a boy or a girl society expects differently but society punishes you differently and, and there is a, a certain underlying tone of women as ownership you know and for as long as you are 
only respecting women because they are your sister, your, your mother, your aunt. It's a problem. What do you do then to those women who are not your relatives? So I think the issue of respect is far much more than just how you relate to people. And it's really about the systems of patriarchy and the fact that as a man, there are things in society and systems in society that reward you for no reason. You get certain privileges um, you know, that, that, that you haven't earned. And it goes even through the, the policing and justice system, even how cases are investigated and prosecuted. Okay, finally, Dr. Mufukeng, as we conclude, understanding the depth of the problems that we have. I mean, the, it, it is really uh, horrendous, the levels of violence we see against women and children. Are you hopeful that uh, with the measures that the president has announced, with your role and other activities that are happening, that uh, we are on the right track to really uh, stopping or winning the fight against the sketch? The work has to be sustained. I mean, we know research has shown us that, you know, women who suffer trauma, they give birth to children four generations later, and the trauma is in the DNA. So we need to do work now today and realize that the work is, is very long term. Four generations now of children to be born, they will be suffering from post-traumatic disorder of the issues from today. And the CGE, just for people to know where to reach us, um, the number is 0800 007 709. Can you and say it slowly again? 0800 007 709 and people can reach us there um, you know for support um, and any outreach because we do hold legal outreach clinics to communities we help them with advocacy okay. um, and, and and really just t to help I suppose you know hold the space um, where many people do not have alternatives but your help is very important dr. Mufuke let me repeat the number 0800 007 709 yeah, for the Commissioner the for Gender Equalities outreach program thank you very much dr. Tlaleng Mufuke she's a commissioner of the Commission for Gender Equality.